The film begins by introducing a young girl named Lydia. One morning, Lydia buys guns and bullets at a gun shop for her boyfriend Jonah. Jonah is part of a criminal group led by a man named El Padrino. After getting the weapons, Lydia, Jonah, and two other members of the group go to the home of someone suspected of stealing money from El Padrino. The house has three sons, a wife, and a husband. Gunshots are heard from inside shortly after Jonah, Lydia, and the others arrive. Lydia, who is not used to her boyfriend being violent, seems surprised to hear the sound of breaking glass as Jonah fires his gun. Meanwhile, three boys playing in the garden near the house start running to hide. Inside the house, Lydia sees a man who has been shot by Jonah. Jonah is questioning the wife of the husband, trying to make her tell where the stolen money is. The terrified wife insists she doesn't know about the stolen money. While two other group members search the house for the money, Lydia, unhappy with the situation, begs Jonah not to hurt the woman. Ignoring Lydia's pleas, Jonah tells Lydia to shoot the woman with the gun she has to prove her loyalty. But Lydia is too scared and can't do it. Despite Jonah's insistence, Lydia hesitates and, in a panic, accidentally shoots Jonah in the chest. Realizing what she has done, Lydia runs away from the scene to save herself. The scene changes to an older man named John Link, who is Lydia's dad. On that day, John shared a story at a support group about his time as a soldier in the U.S. military. He then talked about spending seven years in prison for accidentally killing someone while drunk. John went to the group with his friend Kirby, whom he's known since their military days, and they're very close, like family. It's revealed that John has been divorced from his wife for a while and now lives alone in an old camper van. After leaving the military, John works as a tattoo artist, and his life feels quite solitary since he hardly sees his daughter. Soon after, John gets a call from Lydia, who confesses she's leaving her home. Lydia explains she urgently needs $2,000 to find a place to stay and get a job. In reality, Lydia is asking John for the money to escape from Jonah's friends, but she can't tell him the truth to keep him safe. Deeply worried about his daughter, John agrees to give Lydia the money and promises to get it to her as soon as possible, even though he doesn't have it at that moment. Knowing his daughter is in trouble, he's determined to help her. Lydia then asks John to meet her at a bar in Santa Monica, California, and pick her up. After the call ends, John immediately sets off in his car to the location Lydia mentioned. After a long journey, John finally arrived at his destination the next day. Shortly after, Lydia, looking anxious and scared, approached John and got into the car. Exhausted from avoiding Jonah's associates, Lydia quickly fell asleep during the ride back to John's place. When they arrived home, John gently carried Lydia to her bed. He then got rid of all the alcohol and drugs, making sure to safely store the gun he found in Lydia's bag. John realized that his daughter had gotten caught up in a dangerous lifestyle, which deeply troubled him. When Lydia woke up, she immediately asked about the money she had requested earlier. However, John couldn't give it to her as he didn't have the necessary funds. Lydia felt furious at her father's deception. Despite John's efforts to calm her down, he suggested she stay with him temporarily until she could find a job. Lydia hesitated, fearing she would put her father in danger by staying too long. She revealed that her boyfriend was dead, but she didn't admit that she was responsible for his death. By this point, John knew that Lydia was wanted by the police, as evidenced by the flyers everywhere. So he suggested she stay for a week until he could gather the money needed. Later that afternoon, John asked Kirby for a loan, but Kirby refused, suspecting Lydia would use it for drugs. Instead, Kirby advised John to seek psychiatric or medical help for Lydia, believing she was under the influence. In the evening, several men showed up at John's place, supposedly for tattoos. Recognizing them as a threat to his daughter, John quickly secured the area, protecting Lydia. There was a confrontation, during which John defended himself and Lydia. Things got worse when one attacker went after John's camper van, breaking its windows. With John and Lydia trapped, Kirby and his friends arrived just in time, causing the attackers to flee due to their greater numbers. Realizing his daughter was in danger, John promptly took Lydia away from there. That night, they drove out of town in search of safety. During the journey, 
Lydia finally confessed to John about what happened with Jonah. She admitted she accidentally shot him while trying to get back stolen money belonging to El Padrino, which led to Jonah's death. Now, both Jonah's associates and the police were hunting her down. Later that night, John and Lydia continued their journey and found shelter at a motel to rest. Unable to sleep, Lydia went outside for some fresh air and struck up a conversation with the young man at the reception desk. Suddenly, news of Lydia being wanted by the police flashed on the television screen, cutting their chat short. The motel immediately contacted the local authorities, revealing Lydia's location. Realizing they were exposed, Lydia urged John to quickly gather their things and leave. But several police officers were already outside the motel, blocking their way. Fortunately, the young man from the lobby stepped in to help, leading Lydia and John to a hiding spot. While hiding in an empty room, John cautiously looked out the window to assess the situation. Two policemen were approaching, almost discovering them. Then, a gunshot rang out from another direction, taking down the officers. Seizing the chance, John and Lydia escaped in a car belonging to a motel guest. A mysterious person chased after Lydia, nearly killing them with gunfire. Luckily, they managed to get away. The next day, John contacted an old friend from prison named Jack to help identify Lydia's attacker. Jack, a former Mafia leader with many connections, agreed to assist. John and Lydia then traveled to another city using transportation they found along the way. Upon reaching a bar in Montana, John looked for an old military buddy named Tom Harris, who owed him a favor. However, the bartender, mistaking Lydia for John's partner, refused to tell them where Tom was. Irritated by the lack of cooperation, John briefly left to call Kirby for help. Meanwhile, Lydia skillfully charmed the bartender and eventually got Tom's address from him. With the address in hand, John and Lydia rushed to Tom's place, hitching a ride with a stranger. When they arrived, John demanded the money and his Harley motorcycle that Tom had borrowed years ago. Unfortunately, Tom regretfully informed them that the money was gone. That evening, Tom invited some members of his motorcycle club to his house to meet John. After the gathering, John and Lydia decided to stay the night at Tom's place. The following morning, Tom and his wife threatened John and Lydia with guns, forcing them to stay put. It became clear that Tom and his wife knew about John and Lydia being wanted by the authorities and planned to turn them in to collect a $30,000 reward. Furious at the betrayal, John struck Tom's wife to disarm her and then pointed the gun at Tom, demanding his money and Harley back. Despite his anger, John chose not to kill Tom, valuing their past friendship. After retrieving his money and Harley from Tom's house, John and Lydia left immediately. During their journey, they were chased by several men sent by Tom to capture them. A fierce shootout erupted between John and Tom's henchmen, but John managed to defeat them using a weapon he had taken from Tom earlier. The next day, John and Lydia decided to change their looks to avoid being recognized. John shaved his beard and mustache, while Lydia dyed her hair a different color. Later, John went to the prison to meet Jack and gather information about the mafia chasing Lydia. Through Jack's connections, they learned that those pursuing Lydia were Jonah's associates and El Padrino's allies. Shockingly, it was revealed that Jonah was the real thief who stole El Padrino's money. The incident at the beginning of the film was orchestrated by Jonah, who framed others and planned to eliminate them to divert suspicion from himself. However, Lydia accidentally shot Jonah while he was about to kill someone, leading El Padrino to believe Lydia was responsible for the theft. Meanwhile, Lydia, still hiding in a motel, got a call from Kirby, who warned her that El Padrino's men had found out where she was. Kirby urged Lydia to move to a busier area immediately. Moving quickly, Lydia sought shelter in a movie theater, thinking she would be safe from suspicion. But it was a trap set up by Jonah who was revealed to be alive and seeking revenge on Lydia. Realizing the danger, Lydia tried to escape, but she was captured by Jonah's men. In the meantime, John, just back from meeting Jack in prison, tried to reach Lydia but got no answer. Worried, he asked Kirby about Lydia's whereabouts, only to learn that Jonah had captured and killed Kirby. Furious at losing his best friend and with his daughter kidnapped, John confronted Jonah. 
Jonah threatened to kill Lydia to hide his deeds from El Padrino, but John warned him that he would expose Jonah's plans to El Padrino if he harmed Lydia. Before facing Jonah, John went to Tom's place to get grenades to use against Jonah and his gang. In a desperate struggle, John was forced to kill Tom, who stood in his way. When John arrived at the meeting point, he raised his hand to show he was unarmed. Jonah allowed him to see Lydia, who was held captive in his car. Planning to kill them both, Jonah's men were about to remove John's Harley motorcycle, blocking their path. But they were thrown aside by a grenade explosion planted by John in his bike. Seeing his chance, John fought Jonah and his men inside the car. After a tough battle, John emerged victorious, freeing Lydia from her restraints. Despite surviving, Jonah fled while John and Lydia had escaped in Jonah's abandoned car. However, they faced another attack from the hills, and a shot from El Padrino's hired sniper hit John, causing him to fall. With no way to escape, John made the ultimate sacrifice to protect his beloved daughter. In his final moments, John looked at his daughter's face one last time before passing away from his injuries in Lydia's arms. Shortly after, the police arrived and arrested Jonah. The movie ends with the scene of Jonah in prison, where he is confronted by Jack and his allies, hinting at the difficulties he will face behind bars. So the moral of the story is if you ever end up in a shootout with a mafia, remember, always bring grenades for a playdate and never forget to check under your Harley for surprises.